Hi Shimmy Shakers and welcome to this week's Relax Follow Along. I hope you enjoyed the one last week. Today we are doing some beautiful moves to relax through our hips and then we're getting to some moves that will relax through our shoulders as well. So you're going to get a core little bit of an activation as well as some work through the shoulders. Let's loosen up and begin. So swinging out. So lots of moves we're going to drill and practice today. We've got some nice jewels, some hip circles, uh, some really nice undulations, some shoulder accents. Good and reaching up and over. And some shoulder shimmies and chest drops as well. So lots to keep you excited. Reaching all the way up, feeling it through here. Good. Good. Other side. That's it. And then reach forward, feeling the stretch through here, just loosening up through your back. Good. Other side. Side to side. So we're going to start learning some technique today and then getting into some combinations. So if you've already learned some of the technique, you can fast forward to that after the warm up, coming down, releasing through your lower back. Or you can just use this as an opportunity to really practice those moves as well. Holding to one side. Another side. And back to centre, slowly rolling up. That's it, just release through your feet, one ankle forward, then the other. Hope you're having a good day. Hope the weather's nice wherever you are. Rolling out three shoulders, that's it. Good. Other way with the shoulders, still keep rolling out through your feet as well. Good. And then just opening up, nice big stretch through your chest. Good. And reaching forward, feeling it through your upper back. And then just open reach, good. Nice work. And shake it out. Okay, so the first move we're gonna to practice today is our jewel. Our jewel is a really, really beautiful move and it is taking two moves together, a hip circle and a twist. So we bring one leg out to the side and then we're coming into our half hip circle. So this one, you're bringing the hips forward in the direction you're going. So if I'm going towards this way, my hip circle comes this way. If I'm going towards this way, my hip circle comes this way. This foot's free. I push my hips forward and around, forward and around. Good. Let's just try it from the side so you can see. You can see my hips are coming forward and around but so far they're staying facing towards the front. So my hips are staying towards this way. They're not twisting forward or back yet. That's it. Just loosen up, especially if you've been sitting down a lot, this part of your hips might be a little tight. That's it. Good, good. Okay, we're adding on a little twist, twist. So for this one, we bring our hip around, our weight is onto this foot. This leg's nice and extended. We're bringing this hip back forward. Other way, around, back forward, around, back forward. So when I taught this in class recently, a lot of people were unsure how to get the twist, twist. It was coming to more like a slide up and back or forward and back. Try and keep it back forward, around, back forward, around, back forward. I'll show you from the side. Around, back forward, around, back forward, around, back forward, that's it. Good. Now try and make it a little bit more natural. Depending on the music you're doing it to, you can use it as a little embellishment with the twists. And if you like, you can lift that foot a little bit, but if you do lift it, make sure you keep those toes nice and pointed, nice and elegant. That's it. Beautiful. Good. Nice. Good. shake it out. Nice work. 
Okay, the next move we're going to practice today is our big hip circle. So remember with your big hip circle, to get the circle nice and big, we're keeping our feet a little wider than hip width. We're bringing our hips around and all the way back. So it's like the start of our jewel. We come forward, but this time we come all the way back as well. I'll show you from the side, coming around and back, forward and back. You can see as I bring my hips forward, my body leans back a little bit. As my hips come back, my body leans forward a little bit. So even though my body's coming forward and back, I'm not coming to the sides at all with that body. You can see I'm not leaning side to side, just a little forward and back. That's it. And remember with this one, always one side will feel easier than the other or more natural than the other. Good. And other way, around. Nice work. Relax into it. Let me know in the comments which way it feels better for you. You can always mirror me with these moves as well. Good. Good. And if you like, you can add in your arms as we bring our hips back, our arms cross. As we come forward, our arms open. Nice and relaxed. This one feels great as well, just to loosen up through that back, through those hamstrings a little bit as well. Beautiful. Good. Enjoy it. Okay, let's go the other way. So bringing the circle around, you can use your arms or just have your hands on your hips or in basic position, whatever feels best for you today. Get into that flow. Good. Good. Nice and relaxed. Beautiful, one more and shake it out, nice work. Okay, so for our hip combination today, we have one more move we need to learn, and that is our undulation. So remember with your undulations, you're bringing your chest forward, your stomach forward, your hips forward, and then release. So as your chest comes forward, remember it's coming from here. It's like something's pushing from here, bringing that chest in front. Let's just practice that one a little bit, especially if you've been sitting, looking at a screen a lot, or bike riding a lot. This one can get very tight and difficult to do. I'm, I'm pulling my chest here, that's what this is, yeah. <laughs> Good, okay, and then for the stomach, we're bringing our weight forward into our feet and then pushing out these muscles here. And release, push, and release, push, and release, good. Then for the next one, for our hips, we're bending our knees, squeezing through our glutes, squeezing through our lower core, tilting that pelvis, and release. Squeeze, and release squeeze and release. So if you haven't done undulations with me before, these three moves, they're the points that we want to hit in our undulations, but in belly dancing, we never do any of these moves by themselves. It's only to warm us up into our undulations. Okay, let's smooth it out. So chest, stomach, hips, and release, good. Chest, stomach, hips, and nice and smooth. That's it. If you want, you can practice in front of a wall. Say the wall's in front of me, I'm touching my chest to the wall, stomach to the wall, hips to the wall, and release. Good. That's it. Nice and relaxed. You can slow it down. Good. You can speed it up, just whatever tempo you feel you need today. Make sure you've got all three points. Chest, stomach, hips. Chest, stomach, hips, that's it. Good. Beautiful. Okay, just relax into it, enjoy it. Another really good one for our posture and for our organs as well. 
Good. 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 And shake it out. Nice work, shimmy shaker. Okay, let's get into our first combination for today. So our combination today is bringing these three moves that we've just learned together. First move is our jewel. So we can start going this way. Feel free to mirror me. We come to the side, twist, twist, side, twist, twist. Our hips come back around in this direction, but this time coming into a full circle. Then you can sneak the other foot in or lead it wide, whatever feels better for you, and then coming into an undulation. We then go the other side. So jewel to this side, jewel, jewel, big hip circle, and undulate. Other way, jewel, jewel, big hip circle, good, and undulate. That's it. Jewel, jewel, big hip circle, and undulate, good. So as you're doing your jewel, remember you're coming this way with your circle, then this way, and then the third time you're coming all the way around. So you should feel the momentum from the hips coming one, two, and then all the way. Hope that makes sense on the video and that you can see it okay. Okay, let's start again this side. Five, six, seven, eight. Jewel, jewel, big circle, and undulate. Good. Just practice with me. You can follow along or do it in your own timing if you prefer. Good. That's it. So sometimes with these combinations, it's not necessarily about getting the exact combination or the exact timing. It's about building things up to have in your tool belt so that when you are dancing or when you're bringing a choreography together, you have lots of different things in your tool belt that might just come out and make your dancing a little bit more interesting and give you more confidence with combining moves as well. With this one as well, you can see it's quite flowing. So you want to try and get that sense of moves moving into one than the other. So you can see as I do it, I'm not really pausing. I'm letting one move become the other one. In that sense, you should really feel that flow. Good. Good. Nice. Okay, let's add some arms into it. So the arms for today are very, very simple, but nice. They again go with the flow. As we do our jewel, we're going to do a little wrist roll, wrist roll. As we come into our circle, our arms are going to come back as our hips come back. And then as we open and undulate, hands framing towards our hips. Let's try it together, nice and slow. Jewel, jewel, big circle, and undulate. That's it, other way. Jewel, jewel, big circle, and undulate. Good. Okay, let's drill it now. Two more. Good, and shake it out. 
Okay, so with this one as well, you can go slow, you can go fast, you can go with the tempo, or you can go to the music. So if you're going to the music, you might let the melody sing with you. Or you might use those little accents. You can hear the different ways you can interpret it. Hopefully you can hear the song. Good. Okay, let's try it now with the tempo. So we're going to count it through and keep it with the beat. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Keep going. That's it. Good. you enjoyed that little combination you can see as well how you can use it differently with music whether you're going with the melody or the accents or the tempo of the music um, yeah you can change it up okay we're going to get into our second combination now which is all about our upper body um, so this one's good as well if you haven't been off to get out and about lately you can still belly dance with your upper body instead so there's three moves we need for this one first one is our chest lift so remember with your chest lifts again we start with good posture and then we're lifting up our chest so unlike our undulation where our chest came forward for this one you want your chest to come straight up so up and then drop up and then drop and again this is my cord tied on and drop up and drop so when you drop down you're not coming all the way down it's from nice and strong like you're zipping up here and then release good it is always hard to talk when doing this one that's it Okay, let's just have a practice. Good. Feel it working all through your back, all through your core as well. But try and stay everything else relaxed. So shoulders relax, neck relax, lower body relaxed. Okay, a little faster. Up, up, up down, 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 up, 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 down, down, down. So when I do multiples, I'm still coming up and down. It's just that it's like up, sneak down, up, sneak down, up, sneak down, or down, sneak up, down, sneak up, down, sneak up, down, sneak up. Okay, let's go with the music. Up, down, up, down. That's it. Try and stay relaxed. This time up. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Down. Good. And up. Good, and down. Keep your core nice and relaxed. Up. And down. That's it. <laughs> Shake it out. Nice work. Okay, next move we're going to practice today is our shoulder accents. So for this one, bring your hands, make sure that they're just in front of your body. I 
can, I can't, I don't have much room here, that's why my other ones come forward when I turn to the side. Um, we are bringing one shoulder forward, other shoulder forward. So remember when you do this one, you wanna feel it right through this muscle here. You can even hold on to that muscle and feel that shoulder coming through. So it's not up, remember, and it's not turned. It's forward, forward. And your hand will move a little bit, but you don't want your hand to be compensating for the move. Okay, let's just practice. Good. That's it. So even though you're working your shoulders, remember you don't want them up here. It's forward, forward, forward. And again, if you've been sitting down working a lot or bike riding a lot, this move is gonna be really hard for you but it is also going to be really good for you. So it's a nice one to persist with. Remember you can feel. Good. That's it. Okay, staying with our shoulders, speed it up into a little shoulder shimmy. So again, you wanna keep your hands just in front of your body. Keep your hands just a little bit lower than your shoulders. If your hands are up here, it's gonna be very hard to do. Hands in front, a little bit lower than your shoulders. Good, nice, that's it, that's it. Stay with it and slower, slow, 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 slow. Good, keep the rest of your body relaxed and faster. Good, and shake it out, nice work. Okay, coming into our upper body combination now, we're using all these moves that we just learned. So today we're starting off, we're coming into our shoulder shimmy, then we have a drop, drop. So shoulder shimmy, drop, drop. Shoulder shimmy, drop, drop. Shoulder shimmy, drop, drop. You know, there's some moves that I always just have the two wrist rolls with and jewels and shoulder shimmies are one of them, but you can keep your hands here, whatever you prefer. Okay, so once we've done shoulder shimmy, drop, drop, and shoulder shimmy, drop, drop, we're coming into a different combination. We're bringing our shoulder forward, our chest up, other shoulder forward, chest down. So it's forward, up, forward, down. Forward, up, forward, down. Forward, up, forward, down forward, up, forward, down. Shake it out, nice work. So if you are thinking, oh my goodness, Elisa, this is so hard. Everything's just moving in the upper body. This is one of the big challenges of belly dancing. We all aspire to have perfect isolations. And that means to move one part of the body without the others. And it also means being able to distinguish between different moves, even though at first they can feel very, very similar. So let's slow it down. Really try and get those positions. Shoulder forward chest up, other shoulder forward, chest down, forward, up, forward and down, forward and up, forward and down. Shake it out, good work. If you're also finding it hard, you can rewind and go back to um, practicing the shoulder accents and chest accents again. Otherwise, let's bring it into our combination. Five, six, shoulder shimmy, shoulder shimmy, drop, Drop, shoulder shimmy, drop, drop, forward, up, forward, down, forward, up, forward, down. Shoulder shimmy, drop, drop, shoulder shimmy, drop, drop, forward, up, forward, down, forward, up, forward, down. Shake it out, nice work. As well as that, don't feel like you have to move really big. These moves are quite subtle. Your audience is going to love them because it means that they have to be up nice and close to see, um, which is one of the beauties of belly dance as well. Okay, let's now drill this combination. So remember, it's shoulder shimmy, drop, drop, shoulder shimmy, drop, drop, forward, up, forward, down, forward, up, forward, down. Okay, starting with our shoulder shimmy. Wait for the music. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Shoulder shimmy, drop. Drop, shoulder shimmy, drop, drop. Forward, up, forward, down, forward, up, forward, keep going. Good. That's it. And shake it out, nice work. Okay, we'll drill a little bit more. This time we'll see if we can go a little bit faster.
Good. That's it. Good. Okay, this time let's go a little faster. Five, six, seven, eight. Shoulder shimmy, drop, drop. Shoulder shimmy, drop, drop. Forward, up, forward, down. Forward, up, forward, down. Shoulder shimmy, drop, drop. Shoulder shimmy, drop, drop. Forward, up, forward, down. Forward, up, forward, down. That's it. Good. Nice work, Shimmy Shaker. I hope you enjoyed those combinations. So now we are going to bring both combinations together. So remember, I'll go through our combinations again. It's jewel, jewel, big circle, undulate, jewel, jewel, big circle, undulate, shoulders, drop, drop, shoulders, drop, drop, forward, up, forward, down, forward, up, forward, down. Okay, let's drill it through. Jewel, jewel, big circle, undulate. Jewel, jewel, big circle, undulate. Shoulder shimmy, shoulder shimmy, drop, drop. Shoulder shimmy, drop, drop. Forward, up, forward, down, forward, up, forward, jewel. Shoulders. So with these ones today, hopefully you could feel the difference between the flow and between the accent more power moves. I hope you had a really fun time practicing belly dancing with me. Let's stretch. So just leaning all the way forward, releasing through your lower back. So if there are any parts that you really struggled with, feel free to rewind, go through them, bring your body over to one side, feel the stretch through your lower back, drop your head down, feeling it all the way through your spine. Good. Another side. That's it. And back to centre, slowly rolling all the way up. Nice. Okay, holding on to something if you need, bring your foot in, feeling the stretch through your quads. Good. So let me know, do you like these kind of follow alongs? And also if there's other moves that you'd like to practice, other side. I know some of you have said you'd really like to do veil work as well. I love veil work, it's really beautiful. So definitely we'll be doing a video on that. Good, and then just reach your arms forward, feeling the stretch through your upper back. Good. And remember with these combinations to open up through your chest, you can use them with, ever, which, with whichever music you like change the tempo to suit the music and come down, dropping your head down, feeling it through the side of your neck and back to center, other side and back to center, head straight down and back to center, chin to ceiling, feeling the stretch through the front of your neck and shake it out. Awesome work, Shimmy Shaker. Thank you for joining me today. If you liked this kind of lesson, please check out this one here. I've got another one that has lots of combinations that were more intermediate level, but really fun as well. Um, otherwise, have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you soon.